Alright, sorry about that. This episode is now going to have to be two parts. Something weird happened, and basically... I don't know what happened, really. I'm sorry about that. But now this episode is going to have to be two parts. I think something with the thing I used to record sort of broke the game a bit. So I had to quickly turn it off and turn it back on for it to load correctly. Oh well. It'll be fine. If I make these separate episodes or something, which I, I highly doubt I will, I'll be sure to upload them at the same time. Also, seems we have a fighting arena. Okay. No, I thought I had more soul. Quickly, I have a balder shell. Oh, that got way too close. Alright, we're fine, though. We are completely okay. And we hear Map Man, so... A tone machine with the symbol of a bench. And Sergio? Yes. Nice to heal. Make him noise, good change. Isn't this a change uh, from those twisting natural caverns? The rain does simply... The rain does cast something of a sadness upon it all, but the architecture is simply splendid. Charting such a different space is quite the challenge, though one I've eagerly undertaken. Perhaps you'd like to purchase a copy of my achievement so far? Purchase a map? Yes. As you can see, this place, too, is quite big. Oh well, we'll probably be fine. And, as you can see on the map, there is a stag station somewhere. So we might be able to leave this place and go exploring in some other areas. If we're able to... I will say, I mainly did come here because I love this place and I want to show it all to you guys. But besides that, also because we needed that nail upgrade before I tried anything. So, nah, boy, watch where you're going, you soggy vagabond. I don't want you splashing me. I've had a miserable time trying to keep dry. I am Zelt the Mighty, a knight of great renown. If I decide that I'm going to stay dry, then uh, that's what's going to happen. Curse this wretched city. Modern monsters constantly fall from above. It's no wonder this blasted kingdom fell into ruin. Yeah, I don't really want to talk to you anymore if you're going to be all depressing like that. This up, and now we hit the front of this area. Over here, we find another one of those strange trees we've seen earlier. Are they decoration? Are they important? Who knows as of right now. Ah, you fall for my trap! You fall for my trap! Okay. I'll gladly accept that. More little enemies. And I got hit somehow. I won't question that. Over here, pretty sure there's not really much of anything. Okay. I saved that somehow. And I'll accept that. Alright, that's where I've already been. Um, darn it. Nope. Alright, I'm going to try to run around them. 
right. And a simple key. We found a simple keyhole just a time bit earlier. So why do you say we head over back to there in a bit? No. No. Quickly, quickly. Come on, I want to leave this place alive. Alright. Alright, I maneuvered that well. Don't know how I live, but I'll accept it yet again. I'm getting to the stab station before I check out anything that could be hidden here. Because I don't want to die. Oh, I've got to go around. Are you guys ready to watch me die like a pathetic person? Because of stupidity. Probably going to happen. Oh, I'm safe. I'm safe and I've made it. All is well. Oh, that's good. Old machine. Yes, I'll take it. I'll use that in a second. I saw an item out there that I want to pick up. No, no. I'm ashamed of myself for what happened there. Yeah, another Wanderer's Journal. Out this way. A toll machine with the symbol of the lift. That's still like that. If you remember, checking the map, the Forgotten Crossroads also connected to this. But this is a nice quick way up there. Plus, now, we can see what's to the left of it. Find our first soul fragment. That, like the mask fragment, I'm sure you can assume what it does. If not, maybe I'll leave it on next three. But still, those are also things you're going to be coming across and going to want to be picking up. Given where we're at, I'd say we go get. Another charm notch. Maybe head back up to Dirtmuth. Then to end off this two-part episode, because it it needs to be a two-part episode at this point. I'm going to attempt something that I probably shouldn't be yet. But I'm very stupid. And I'm going to attempt it. What you guys say, we get revenge on the boss that killed us in the first episode. Hello. Huh? Of course, okay. I am just going to spend money on those because they're the cheapest uh, charms she has. Plus, getting another charm notch is very worthwhile. <laughs> Did I mean to use that right there? We'll be getting the rest of her uh, charms later. Right now, though, take that off. And the Mark of Pride. Much longer range, as you can see. This is going to help out a lot. For... 
just about everything that's coming forward. Alright, given where we are at. Alright, I'd say about the easiest thing I can do. To get back to Dirt Muth to quickly check out one or two things. Then, probably go and take on that boss would be to go this way. Man, it feels so much nicer to be able to kill these enemies faster. Alright, take me up to Dirtmuth. Something that I sadly forgot to do was open this door, so now we can use uh, the stag stations from Dirtmuth. Save here. Patamas, Jill. And also, I think now would be a good time to get the Lumafly Lantern. He does have a few other things. I'm not going to get them yet. You see, right here seems to be open now. A mask shard, which... Always nice to get more of those. The White Savior. The maiden woke in darkness. Confused, she reached out. Sharp brambles jabbed, jabbed at all sides. Burning acid bubbled closer, below. Oh, what nightmare had led her here? What hope of survival remained? Doomed, she thought herself, and to despair she fell, until a light bloomed far in the distance, a bright, glowing spot fast approaching. It swept majestic about the thorns, leapt above burning waters, and dove towards the maiden. Coming close, the form revealed at last, a beautiful being, sharp horns gleaming white, Arms reached out for the damsel, gathering her up. Rip firm. Seems like someone's got an admirer. I want to quickly see if they had anything new <sighs> here. Just a lot more markers. But I do think at this point I'm going to buy these last few pins. It'll be easier. And I'm going to get the Wayward Compass, too. It could come in handy later. I've been good with maps, but... Leave in the comments, I guess, if you've been having trouble whenever I show up the map. If you just could not tell where I was. Because if you need help with that, I can easily just uh, turn it... I can easily just equip it. I don't need all the badges I have on right now. Alright. The quickest way through. Alright, I think I know uh, how I should get through here. Don't worry, probably next episode or the episode after, we will be going back to the City of Tears. Alright. Gotta reclaim the money I spent already, so. Probably the best place to just sit down to save. That's close enough to this place would be in here, so... 
quickly going to do this. Alright. I also want to see. No, I... How much... That cost one... That cost two. Nah. I want my life, lifeblood and mark of pride for this, so... Guess I'll just keep it as it is right now. I say now, it's time we took our sweet revenge. Right way. A full on soul, so ah. I uh, wish there was a place to sit before this. That would make things a bit easier for me. That was just the pathway back up. Alright. It's time to take our revenge. Rooting all left. Well, time we got revenge on them. Much easier now because we have increased length for our nail. More damage is being dealt. Alright. Okay. Yikes. Nope. I'm probably gonna die a few times here. Dad. As you can tell, that went much better than that. And from doing that, we got yet another half fragment. That felt really good to do. Finally get our revenge. Leave none of him left. None of him! I'm breaking this. It appears we appear back here. I'd say... We should probably go see Grub Dad, go back to Dirt Muth, and that's where we'll end off the episode. Also, wait one second. I saw something. And I heard something breaking. Ew, sounds like there was a secret up here. Well, it's quite a bit of money. That's nice. But wait, there's more. Seems there's a tree here too. Again, want to remember that for later. Now, okay. This is one secret that I really like. 
Don't ascend this normally. Ascend it like that. And you can find yourself another Hall Nessie. I honestly really like that secret. It's neat. Plus, you can just hop out all the way like that instead. Okay, wow, loud lag for some reason. Oh! Someone seems to be out. And not really talkative. Hmm. Well, given what all we've done, and while and while all we've explored this episode, I say, nah, oh. there's nothing else we need by there. I say this is where we should leave it off at. Everything's looking nice. Got a simple key. Next episode, we'll explore more of the City of Tears. As well as see what that simple key could unlock down there. Plus, besides all of that, there's a few areas we've yet to explore. That I think now is a good time. Ugh, hiccups for some reason. Either way, though, I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.